Hey guys, what's up? Uh, we're out here sweating, swatting mosquitoes. It's summertime, but we're always thinking about deer, doing a few projects. Uh, I want to take you back. We're super excited to bring you last year's hunt. And this was a two year quest for a deer that uh, for me gave me about all I could ask for. Um, deer hunting to me as a land manager and a landowner is about growing deer to a mature age on your ground, creating the habitat, and just, and just learning all the lessons that come with it. All these deer are individual. Um, I'm just forever grateful for the lessons that came from this particular deer. Like I said, two year quest, and um, we hope you enjoy. This is the story of the king. That's him. Yep, yeah. I gotta grab the rifle. I started the 2021 season pursuing a buck we called Elmer. After learning he was killed, I switched gears to hunt for the king. My first two encounters with him were at last light in a soybean field that we had planted. Every time he would just come out about 10 to 15 yards and feed without moving. I knew I had to get creative to get into bow range and I figured it wouldn't be from a tree. Even though it was muzzleloader season, I really wanted to get the king with a bow if I could. He was such a homebody and was very predictable. I figured I'd take the chance, hunt him strictly with a bow, and if I didn't get him, there's a high odds that he would make it into next year, and who knows what he would turn into. This buck's had quite a run of uh, appearances, really. Very, very uh, predictable for a mature buck. This usually don't see this, but he's been coming to these soybeans. He really, really likes them. Last time I saw him was just him and a small buck. It was perfect. Let's we'll see if we can get that lucky. He's out, he's in the field, he's in the field. In the field right here. Yep. Oh, there's a doe there too. I can't see him yet. Feeding right now. Right in front of your camera. Another buck back there. Another little buck here and a half. day to think about it but on a positive side that was an amazing hunt number one I think there was ten bucks all came out every single one except him came by broadside less than 40 yards he came out and got the 40 yards but it got he was quartering two for so long and then it got so late and I just I drew back on him one time and you know I could see the pin, but it, you know, 
I just couldn't tell exactly where his leg was. It's just hard. That's great. That was an exciting hunt, man. That was great. That's awesome. That's the end of the New York season, officially. Um, wasn't very eventful in terms of the, the, this late, late season. I mean, um, we had a week. We were so excited to have this week, and um, the weather was just warm. It just didn't, you know, wasn't in the cards to have that typical late season weather. Um, this is when all the work begins in the off season. Hopefully everybody has a good off season. It's 2022 now, so time for bigger and better things. I'm just down here picking up some leftover trail cameras um, on our southern tier place. And this is how I like to find sheds. I suck at finding sheds, but I believe this is a 10 point. Definitely him. Check it out. <clears throat> So we're, we're here in uh, our southern tier property, checking out this logging operation. Every year in the off season, or well, even during season, we just analyze all our properties and find out where are our weak areas and how can we make them better. Um, this particular spot um, was just screaming at me for years. And we have such a good potential bedding area, but we're gonna turn this end, which is basically useless for deer, into a south facing prime bedding area. We also happen to be after that buck we call the king. I have no reason to believe that he won't be back in here and I hope when he comes back in, uh, he likes it even more. So here's the sheds off this buck we call the king and in this particular area, this is gonna definitely be the number one buck. We call him the king because he laid like flat, like this on his head, you know, the tines stick up. He's a great buck for this area. He's not gonna be like a Boone and Crockett, but he's a nice one. Um, just sitting here on the deck. It's did a bunch of work today. I'm gonna to go back out on the tractor and do a little bit more, but it's fun because it's like, you know, in your mind, you're like, re, you replaying the past, but you're also trying to create the future and how it's gonna lay out and what he's gonna look like and how we're trying to kill him. So, doing all this here for him. Yeah, it's fun stuff. We can't get enough of it. So it's the end of July. It's one of our favorite times of year to actually put uh, fall crops into the ground. Today we're going to be actually planting uh, big and beastie uh, brassica mix. So we've had an extremely dry spring planting season. And what we're going to do today, it's the late, late July. We just got done seeding a big and beastie plot. And we're in a, uh, a standing soybean field that has a couple of really thin spots. So we're actually gonna do a little bit of a trial. What we like to do with some of these crops that we plant in the spring is rescue them a little bit with Big and Beastie where they're thin. You can see here to my left that this plot just didn't quite make it. Might be some of the pine trees, might just been, um, you know, the way the, the seeding went. But, you know, we're not talking a whole field right now. We're just talking just a real small, a uh, little bit to kind of maximize our tonnage here because when these deer start coming here to feed uh, this late season, we're going to want this to be jam packed. With Friday afternoon, it's um, the 7th of October. Hunter and I are gonna go after the king. It's kind of that buck that's stuck in my mind, can't get him out. It's definitely not the buck, but well, maybe it is. But don't take it. Right, that's just it, yeah. Or so 
more than that. A um, bunch of bucks, I think five or six bucks. It was just awesome. It's like, it's just watching them do their thing. One of us is kind of stubborn, so we got great information. Uh, nice mature buck right in the backyard, but I got my mind set on a different deer. So we're gonna go hunt the other deer. We're gonna forego. I'm gonna blame it on Ethan though, because really he should be hunting this buck that I saw this morning go to bed and I should be going after the king like I am. So I'm holding up my end of the bargain.
that's all what you're looking for. Well, we're just making sure that we have this couple non-cells here and I just want to make sure that That's sparring. Oh yeah. When? Today. Nothing I can? No. So we we're doing an interview here in the truck. We, we got out of there with nothing in the plot. Never saw King again. So we're gonna be back in here tomorrow. Got some things in the schedule we gotta work around, but um, <laughs> uh, we'll figure it out. Let's put it that way. So we'll see you tomorrow. All right, sun's coming up here. This is our first morning hunt for the king. Um, it's really, really, really quiet still. So we're just gonna take our time. Um, we're gonna get a tree stand in the timber, one that we hung just for him.
Oh, it's, it was a great night. We saw that little ball buck. We're gonna keep hitting the yard. We saw a ton of deer tonight. I don't know, we saw a lot. I don't even know, maybe 16, 17. There's 14 does. Black one time, yeah. We saw, what, three bucks or something, two or three bucks. But it was a good night. I don't know, it just gets better. Day just ticks on, the calendar ticks, and it gets better. It's warm, but the deer are going. So, we're gonna wait a few more minutes and try to sleep and sneak out of here to minimize the damage. see deer when you come. I know. Too close. A little tight, maybe. Maybe. It's good for that thing. If you leave that at home, and you take that, you don't need to. I know. You know what Brad asked me? He's like, is your gun sighted in? <laughs> nope. Man, I don't shoot it much, but it is sighted in. 50 yards. <laughs> So here we are, nice and cozy. We got this bank's blind. Uh, John and I are here with our matching vests and uh, almost matching hats. I got this thing right here. I think it's a Mossberg or something. Sighted into 50 yards. And then um, I got my bow here. So if they're beyond 40, I just reach for the gun. Uh, we're after the king, we know he's alive. That's about all I can say right now. We're gonna, one of these days he's gonna slip up and hopefully we can capitalize on it. <laughs> uh, yeah, as you could see, John was quick on the camera, which is needed tonight. He he's kind, he came in it. Well, what did I tell you early in the night? I said he's gonna come from the right. right. Well, anyways, he came to the left, uh, and he just instead of coming up into the corner, all the does he just cut it weird. I think that buck that was like a two or three year old ahead of him went into the timber chasing a doe and I think that's what caused yeah, him to do it the, yeah the but gosh what a it's it good it's a tunnel in there a tunnel which is like I said I think tomorrow I'm gonna move that blind back some close and I had the Mossberg I was gonna do it but I said right <laughs> You're like, oh, I said, grab that guy. <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking, I was hoping he's going to come right back out, but man, we lost late. But 
that's going to give us one to think about for the overnight. But it's cooled down. It's, it's down. What's this old fancy thermometer? Is it 20? Yeah, 28. It's cool. So, till the next round. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe. Or the next day. Yeah, or the next day, right. <laughs> Been here in a while, right? No. So we've had a lot of action the last couple days. Um, some of which took us a day to figure out what deer we really saw. But two days ago, John and I hunted up in that corn plot up above us, and the king, for sure, the king, walked up this clover strip and then right to us and he literally was in our sight window like five seconds and he went after a doe into the woods um yesterday cody and i sat kind of wide because of the wind watching this rut field we had this big buck come out of the switchgrass and at first i didn't think it was the king then i did think it was the king and then when we looked at the video it wasn't the king believe it to be that buck we call low ball. So anyway, we've got both the target bucks still alive, which is awesome. And they both are using our ground and our habitat and all the stuff that we created to try to keep them here. So tonight we're in what we call dad's blind. I do have the bow, but I do have um, the rifle just in case. So yeah, so we got beautiful big and beastie soybeans in front of us all the way here behind me. And we got Hunter back in the blind here. It's been a little bit. He's on a mission, isn't he? He's is like, he's a little like, ball son. Yeah, I think he's a little ball son. That's pretty cool.
I'll tell you when. Yep. <laughs> I think it was a good hit. I was not steady for some reason. No. I was not steady, but it wasn't that far. Holy kids, dude. That might have... Oh, that might have just done it. I got all <laughs> shot. I was dying while oh, I was waiting for you to get the shot off. Oh, kids. Alright. Yeah. Uh, can you see what that? Yeah. Look at that. Holy crap, my ears are ringing. Um, all right, folks, that's could be, I hope, the culmination of uh, a crazy, what we call the reign of the king. That's a big boy. I want to get him with a bow bad, but he was right there. He came out and he was pretty, eating in the beautiful, eating in the fog. Yeah, yeah. I guess, um, I mean, I felt decent with it. I don't, you know, like, his tail was down. Yeah, I was talk. About, it looked like you smoked him right in the shoulder. But okay. I mean, it's hard to tell looking at that screen. Yeah. Whew. Man, all right. Well. <laughs> <sighs> Just like that. Just like that is right. Clean yeah. all ass. Like, thanks, bud. <laughs> You've been with me for a lot of these. Probably, what, 10 minutes left of shooting, like legal? Yeah. I don't know what, probably 10 or maybe a little more than that, but. <sighs> yeah, no. I mean, we got so dang much time and effort into this deer. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. I'm glad I was here for it. Oh, man, I'm glad you're here, too. Oh. <laughs> she gives someone a call. <laughs> um, you're going to be pissed. Yeah. <laughs> oh well, I shot with the damn rifle, so it looked good. It looked good. It looked good. It looked good. It, looked good. it was uh it was I don't know, what's that, hundred yards? Eighty? Probably, probably 100. No, yeah, eighty. 80. <laughs> Sorry, you you're on the go. He's on the road. That is awesome. Congratulations. Well, yeah. we gotta get him first. We're jumping to too many conclusions. Yeah. Right. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> 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 Call Cody and try to catch him before he heads home. All right, sounds good. All right. All right, bud. See you. All right, bud. A rifle shot him. All right, rifle shot him. Well, yeah, I hope he's dead. He ran off with his tail tucked. All right, we know what we're doing. Yeah. <laughs> you got the shakes done yet, Hunter? Look at I'm still, yeah. oh, I'm still shaking. <laughs> All right, we got everybody. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sets of eyes. 
Actually, probably seven because I only got one good one. So. <laughs> <laughs> Go we'll find them. <laughs> You're still videoing back there, are you? Oh, yeah. All right. Bang. All right. Wait a while here. Let's hope he's dead. Twist your ankle on these. Oh, right there's blood. Right there's blood. Yep. Right up into here, so it's pretty chunky. That that amount of blood is I notoriously say, though, like, for. I've seen people shoot deer in the chest and have corn come out because they had corn in their like true. esophagus. True. Yeah, too. that's true. But that one spot of blood before the corn was dark, like liver. It wouldn't. I mean, I'd be shocked if I didn't get liver just because of the angle. Right. Ay, ay, ay. It sucks. <laughs> Okay, so it's the morning after. It's gonna be a body search, really, just because we got a little snow and um, there wasn't a lot of blood anyway. I mean, it was starting to open up a little bit, but when we stopped, but this type of hit generally doesn't have a lot of blood. Um, so, hopefully, within 100 yards or less from where we left off, we will uh, find him. We've marked everything on hunt stand, our tracks and everything, so um, should be easy enough to find, and like I say, it's just gonna be a grid search, so. All right, so we marked our trail last night. As you can see, this started here. started here walk this far it's like basically 85 90 yards so um, then we backed out so Ethan and Fisher are gonna be down here just watching this just in case but I anticipate him to be hopefully within 100 yards in here but we can go pick this up right now and uh, get in there so here's where we this is the last spot he was going this way. Obviously we got daylight now. I can't see anything from here, but okay. let's just, um, I guess we just take a straight line. He's kind of going just like this. Right. about maybe 80, 75. Pretty sure that's him laying there. See this tree that goes up and it's kind of crooked? Yeah. Yep. Just to the left on the ground. Pretty sure that's his antler sticking up in his body. See that? 
it's hard to see the naked eye. Cody, watch out. <sighs> Pretty sure that's him. I see his ear and his left side of his rack sticking up. I hope you see that. I'm pretty, I mean. Let's go, let's go pee. I mean, just, yeah. All right, okay. I think that's it. Yeah, I think better. See him now. I think you can see him better now. See that? See the body? I can't see him. Yeah, that's him. You see him? Yeah, I'm pretty sure, I'm 90% sure that's him. Look, look right, right there. See the crooked tree yep. to the right of it? That yep. brown? Pretty sure that's him laying there. His head's oh, on yeah. it. His I saw, head's I, on yeah, him. I saw that a minute ago and I didn't think it was a deer. Me too. Me too. That's him, man. <laughs> yeah, boy. Let's, let's, hope, go. let's hope the coyotes didn't get him. I, I was oh. looking at that and I was like, that's not a deer. Yeah, no, it's <laughs> There he is. There he is. The king. Holy buckets, guys. He didn't get any smaller. He did bad last night. Yep, he better. <sighs> Good thing we stopped. Yeah. Holy cats, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Call up, Ethan. The oats didn't get on him. No, the oats didn't get on him. Oh, they just got on him. Yeah, we looked at this. They oh, just they did get him a little. Holy cow, dude. Huh. He did bed last night though, facing up his back track. Yep. You see that? Yeah. That's crazy, huh? Oh. I wonder how, st how stiff is he? Hey, get your hands wow. out. Oh, he died a while ago. Yeah. Get up. Right here. Was he standing right there? Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh man, thanks guys. <laughs> there, let's just. He did blow up from last Give me feet. knuckles. Dude, thanks, that's folks. awesome. Thanks. Dude. thanks. It's a, Congrats, it's, man. Takes all of us. That is an amazing looking deer. <laughs> you believe it? You guys could have almost. Where'd he go? Just straight? I mean, I look. What is it, 100? The coyotes just got to me. Thanks for all you I did. Was only I know. I know. I was surprised you didn't see it. Look at they just got to him. That's not bad. Look at we, that. we just spooked the coyote off him pretty much. Honest? Yeah, well, up there. there I text you. Right when he came I in. There's no service. Ah. The land is still down there. Yeah. We had to resurrect it. Yeah. There's so many dang rubs in here, bud. He died last night, boys. He batted he face in his back. Yeah. Look at the back. I think we would have bumped him. He batted facing his back. Yeah, I think we would have bumped him. We would have bumped him. Yeah. He's batted. Yeah. You're right. Definitely smells a little gutty. Oh, yeah, you can see the exit right there. Yep, we thought. Dude, oh. look at the size of it. I know. It's, it's so. Compared to his sheds last year. Look at that. That's it. The king is dead. Yeah, <laughs> the king Long is the dead. King. The king is dead. Just like, look at that thing. Holy. Oh. Oh man, what a what a couple years! It's yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Man, you went you went two fifty, two forty two. So we always try to learn everything that we can about these deer, and just you know we have such respect for them. But this deer is pretty much laying right how we got him, except you know his head is probably uphill. And we made a good move last night, not coming in here because. He, it wasn't like he died running. I mean, he was, he bedded deliberately here, facing his back track, and eventually died. But if we jump him out of here, it's not a good deal. So as hard as it is sometimes, um, we did the right thing. It's humbling to see what they go through and how they survive. And, uh, and to be able to do it with all, you know, friends, family. Thanks to all you guys. I know, like, man, everybody involved. In, Everybody in Just Hunt Club, I mean everybody. Even the ones that weren't literally in the blind with me has got something at stake with this, whether it's editing, um, filming in the summer, chasing Ethan and I's crazy butts around doing all this stuff, wonder, probably wondering what the heck we're doing it for, but this is why um, 
like I said, it doesn't always doesn't always work out. Thank God in this one it did. Um, but everybody involved, thank you. You know, family, friends, um, everybody at Just Hunt Club. It's a team deal, and I mean that truly. Um, I mean, you guys here today, but everybody that's not here today too um, it means a lot. These deer mean a lot too. This one's extra special.